Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to make your own custom license plate for BeamNG. I've had a couple of people ask me, uh, I did a video a little while ago on my Arkansas plate that I have done uh, and um, I haven't posted that yet to the forums. Uh, I, I may do that here in a second or in a little while anyway. <laughs> I don't know when you're watching this video. Uh, anyhow, um, but I had a couple of folks ask uh, how I did the license plate. Um, there actually is a tutorial uh, with the, or on the BeamNG um, wiki. Um, but if you go out to, I'm just doing a quick search. I have BeamNG uh, license plate template. And when I search for that, first thing comes up is license plate tutorial from BeamNG. And so in the wiki, you can see prepare the folder structure and it actually um, goes down through here and tells you everything to do. Um, but um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing we have to do is you've got to grab the um, license plate folder, the, the file rather then uh, you'll see right here you can use you can either use this file file colon license plate template mod or make everything from scratch i would recommend grabbing the template mod because it has everything you need and you just change the names and call it good so if you click on the zip link that will actually take you to um, the uh, current version or you could go back to an older version just click on the time and date and click on that and you will see that it downloads the license plate template. And uh, if you're on Windows, well, actually, either way, it'll download that to your downloads folder. So if I bring that up real quickly, we have license plate uh, mod. Um, and then uh, you can just uh, extract up here at the top, extract all, and call it good. All right. So what happens here is now it's created this lesson license plate template mod folder because that's what the name of the um, downloaded, well, wherever it is, <laughs> that's what the downloaded file was called. So what I'm doing is uh, I actually went back a level uh, to the downloads folder and I'm going to rename this. So I would rename this whatever the license plate is going to be called. So I'm going to do Pennsylvania. Why not? So I'm going to do, um, let's see, we'll do PA underscore plate. And then if you want to put your name in it or whatever, I don't care. I'm just going to do PA underscore plate. So I right clicked rename. Now when I go into there, now I have the vehicles folder. Leave that alone. Don't mess with that. Inside vehicles, you have common. You're not going to mess with that. And I may be in the way. Okay, so let me go back real quick. So again, I renamed, I right clicked on this folder. I did rename um, and I called it PA plate. Then inside is vehicles. Inside that is common. Inside that is license plates. Uh, and then there's a folder in here called user license plate. Now, what you want to do at this point is you want to actually rename this to match the name of the file that you're creating. I mean, you could leave it alone, but if you, you know, as other people were creating, basically, if you create a, a file and someone else creates the same file, it'll confuse BeamNG. So we're just going to do... PA underscore plate. And again, this is one of those things where like, I'm not using, um, I'm not being very smart about this because if somebody else creates a PA underscore plate, then it'll confuse BeamNG. So I recommend anytime that you name your folders um, and, and the files that you're going to be working with, I recommend incorporating like your username or something just so it helps not confuse things. I probably just made things way more confusing than they needed to be, but basically make sure that this folder matches the folder rename in your downloads. So I go in here. Now, inside here, you have your uh, JSON file. You've got the PNG, which is the um, actual license plate picture itself. And then you also have the JBeam. Now, 
you can see on my computer, it's already associated with Notepad. So what I had to do was, um, by default, it has no idea what a JSON file is. So I right clicked on it and I did open with, and then I chose Notepad. Um, you don't have to use Notepad, you can use whatever you want. And I recommend not, there's a little checkbox that says use this as the default or something like that. I recommend not checking that. I just accidentally checked it, but everything seems to be working, so that's okay. <laughs> okay, so um, you have different things here. You'll notice that the name it here says, oh, let me move this out of the way, I'm sorry. Uh, up in the corner here, it says username underscore license plate next to name. And this is the name of the license plate as it's going to show up. So you don't want it to be called that. You know, you want to give it a friendly name. So I'm going to call it Pennsylvania. I'll just call it PA. PA, uh, we'll just call it plate. All right. So the PA plate. All right. Um, version, this is version one, or you could put, you know, 0 0.5 or whatever version you want, but version one. Um, and then I don't mess with size. Uh, I don't mess with text. Now, um, with color, you can change the um, RGB color. So you can go out on the internet, find the color that you want. For example, if you, if you need it to be yellow text, you can go find what the RGB for yellow is and put that in there. Right now, I'm not going to mess with the color at all. All right. So next, you have vehicles, common license plate, default plate font. Leave that alone. That's part of the game. Background image. Um, leave this part alone. But notice that here it's asking where is this located. Um, and this is where you have to change this because we renamed this from user underscore license plate. We actually called it PA underscore plate. Right, that's the file name we gave it. So anywhere you see that user license plate stuff, I would change that and um, make it the PA plate. And I don't know what the underscore D was at the end there. I don't know what D has to do with anything, but I don't, I don't know. I guess you could put the D back in if you want. I mean, you call it whatever you want. You know what? I'm not even going to go in. Who cares? Okay. No. <laughs> So um, you're going to leave plate font alone, background image. Again, that's coming out of um, the regular license plate from BeamNG. So I wouldn't mess with that. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't mess with anything else. So essentially, I turned that user underscore license underscore plate file or license plate template or whatever that said. I can't remember now. <laughs> I changed that to say... Um, uh, PA plate PNG. And that was in user license plate JSON. But now remember everything has to be changed to PA underscore plate or whatever name you're using. So when I save this, I can't call this user license plate. Oops. Anymore. I have to call it. So rename and I'm going to call it PA underscore plate. And I have to do the same thing with each of these. So it needs to be PA underscore plate. And PA underscore plate. Okay. So we edited the JSON. Now we have to edit the JBeam. And again, um, okay, so here is username license plate 21. I have. Uh, I guess this is, I don't know. I guess that's the name of the plate. I don't know. So I'm just going to change that to say PA plate. Um, authors, you can do BeamNG, comma, and then you can put your name in there as well. Um, name, again, you don't want this to be called license plate mod. You want the name to be the name of your plate. Okay. And then here's license plate path. Notice it's vehicles common license plate path. Now again, it says user underscore plate, user underscore, I mean, license plate, blah, blah. So again, you want to change this to say PA underscore plate. And PA underscore plate. And again, you're going to rename these to match whatever you called it. 
So we save that. All right, so now we have our J-beam and we have our JSON, and now what we have is we have this plate, and this is the generic BeamNG plate, but what we're mainly looking at, and I'm just gonna close this back, what we're mainly looking at is you want to know the size down here. It's 512 by 256. And you have to make sure that you make a note of that. 512 by 256. Because when you create your plate or when you go grab a plate template from somewhere, that's the size the plate has to ultimately fit inside. All right. So you can, uh, now to go find a plate, you can do things like, um, like, let's say I'm just going to do a Google shirt search for a Pennsylvania license plate template. All right. So here are, um, there's different sites that have them. Notice images come across here. So I'll go to images. All right. So there's all kinds of images here for a Pennsylvania license plate template. Some of them look, you know, I mean, heck, this is actually a plate. <laughs> you know, some of them uh, look, you know, they're definitely, you know, homemade or whatever. But from a copyright legal standpoint, you need to go to tools and under more tools, I'm sorry, usage rights, go to labeled for reuse with modification. All right. Now that's the legal way to do it. How you choose to use that information is up to you. So the I have one labeled for reuse with modification. So here is a Pennsylvania license plate right here. Notice that there's actually several other styles. Um, I would recommend sticking with the ones that have the um, numbers and letters in the middle of the plate. Uh, I know you can go into the JSON and the J beams and you can edit where that text appears. I've not played with that. So, I'm just going to grab this one that's actually coming from Wikimedia. Um, so notice that when I'm looking at this, notice this size, 400 by 200. What size did I need? I actually needed um, the 512 by 256. So what that means is that if I grab this, I'm going to have to stretch it out some to make it fit BeamNG. What's that going to do to the image? Well, it may make it a little distorted. It may make it look a, a little weird. So you have to play with that and decide if that's okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I just right click and I copy the image. Okay. Now, as far as an editor goes, you can actually do this in just paint that comes with windows, or you can use some other application that if you have access to a different application, for example, I prefer to use um, Adobe Photoshop elements 13. That's the version I have. Now that I have, I, you know, I copied the image from here. I can go up here and I can tell it that I want a new image from my clipboard file. Okay. So there is that image. Now, remember, I have to make this 512 by 256. So I can go to image and I can go to transform. I'm sorry, go to resize and I can change now. In this program, I have to change both, right? So if I change my canvas size, then I have to, um, let's do pixels, and I want it to be 512 by 256. And I say okay. So what I can do is I can stretch this out here to fill it in. So now that plate takes up the whole space, okay? Now, the problem, of course, is that we have letters in the way. And you're going to run into the exact same thing no matter what program you use. So if, if you use Paint that comes with Windows, if you use um, some other application like, um, I don't know, Seashore or Pixelmator uh, or GIMP for Mac, although you could also get GIMP on PC if you wanted something a little more robust and it's free, um, Whatever program you use, you're going to have to come in here and get rid of these letters. So the first thing that I'm going to do is use the eyedropper and grab the color, the rough color of the actual plate background. All right. So now it's changed to this kind of grayish color. And now um, I can uh, I can grab a, a box here and I could select this text 
Well, I missed some at the top, but that's okay. We'll fix that. <sighs> because I need to make a duplicate layer and hide this one. It doesn't like to do it on this background here. So there you go. All right. Now, I missed a little bit up top, so I can also just grab this and delete. And then I can use my paint bucket because I already have my color. <laughs> and I can fill in the background of my license plate. So now it's all that kind of gray color. And so now I can, in this case, I have to save it out for the web in this program is make sure you, that you are using PNG 24 with transparency. And now I gotta go find it again. Oh, aren't you guys glad you signed up for this one? Okay. All right. So here it is here. I can just click on the name one time and tell it to save. It'll say, do you want to replace it? Yes, I do. And so now my Pennsylvania license plate here has replaced. Wow. Okay. <laughs> has replaced the plate that we had in there before, right? Before it was the BMNG plate. Now it's the Pennsylvania plate. Okay. I've got my files here in my uh, PA plate folder. I'm going to work my way back to the PA plate folder. Okay. So I'm in downloads and I'm in the PA plate folder. So I'm in the same folder that I created the file. And you're going to see this vehicles folder. You're going to right click on vehicles. And you're going to tell it to send to a uh, compressed zip folder. Um, I can't remember what on the Mac it looks like, but anyway, you're going to zip this up. Now it's going to be called vehicles zip, but that's not what you want it called. It needs to match the name of your um, project. So PA underscore plate. So now I can take this PA plate folder, I mean uh, zip file, I can copy that, go over here to the BeamNG mods, right click in a blank space and paste it in there. And so now it's in there, there it is at the top, PA plate. So now I can jump into BeamNG, all right? And so I can just go to the garage And when I double click license plate design, if I come across here, I should have PA plate. And so when I click on PA plate, then I can zoom in here. Uh, let me, can I not? Oh, that'll work. There you go. So you'll notice that it's orange um, and that's because of the RGB color. Uh, I just left it where it was. What I would need to do is go figure out what RGB color is the blue for a Pennsylvania license plate uh, and then make that um, correct. So just for the sake of argument, let's go attempt to do that. <laughs> I have no idea. So um, let's see. I'll tell you what we'll do is uh, let's do RGB. Oops. All right. So we have an RGB color picker. And we can get a rough idea. Let's see. It was kind of a dark blue-ish. Okay. So if I do this, um, my RGB code over here is 317132. All right, so that should give me this kind of blue right here. So uh, in order to fix this, we come back over here and go back to our original downloads folder with, uh, and then go into the project, go into the, uh, what I would do is I would go ahead and delete this file, delete the zip file that's in the project folder, just so you don't get confused. So then vehicles, common, license plates, PA plate. And then now we go into, I think it was in JSON, where we go in and here's font and here's the color. So if we replace this, whoops, with our uh, RGB colors, 
31, 70, 132. And we'll put a space between. All right, so I believe that is going to change the text color. So let's save that. Close this. Again, we're going to go back to the project folder. Right click on vehicles. Send to compressed folder. Right click on the zipped up folder. Rename. And we're going to call that our project. Might give it the same name as the project. Right click on there. Copy that out, go into your documents, BeamNG drive mods folder, right click in a blank space, paste it. It's going to ask, do you want to replace it? Yes, I'm going to replace it. All right. So now we've replaced that. So now let's see if we go back into BeamNG. And once in the garage, I should be able to jump on license plate. Uh, once again, pick PA plate. And now when I zoom in, notice, doo -doo -doo, there we go. We have blue letters on our license plate. Not exactly the right color, but it's close. So I could play around with that some more if I wanted to. I could get in there and, and mess with the RGB and, and, and get the exact blue that I need. But for the most part, I'm good to go. So there you go. That's how you make a license plate uh, using the BeamNG template for BeamNG. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helped a lot. Uh, by all means, feel free to uh, you know go back and jump around and pause and all that kind of good stuff. <laughs> if you like the video, hit the like button. If you would, feel free to leave any questions, problems, suggestions, horror stories down in the comment section below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you next time.